Did you see that? We certainly did see that. Welcome back everyone to another video. And today we're reviewing an incident from a Saudi World Series sprint race. Now the onboard footage is of Callum Mitchell who uploaded this video to YouTube. The link to the original video is in the description so be sure to check that out. So as we start the lap at the Dubai Kart Drome, Kart 2 has a good run through turn 1. Heading into turn 2 he has the inside line, he passes Kart 13. Callum has a look down the inside but the driver in Kart 13 has the inside line for turn 3. Now this is where it gets interesting. Kart 13 uh, has a decent run down to turn 4 but notice how Callum gets really close to his bump over here, gets good drive over here but there's a bit of a bump there and I think that's what Kart 13 felt. So on exit, he just glances over, has a look who potentially bumped him. He sees Callum's there, but this is quite aggressive what he does now. He weaves over to the right-hand side, leaves Callum with absolutely nowhere to go. Where do you expect him to go? So Kart 13 nearly takes himself out of the race, nearly going into the barrier there. Callum can opt to take the inside line now because the space is going to open up. The driver on the outside is going to squeeze him though right at the apex point. They're side by side now. But watch what happens over here. He leans over and actually turns his engine off. How unsporting is that? That's taking things way too far over a petty incident in my opinion. And Callum throws a hand up in frustration and he has every right to do so. So the cart eventually rolls to a stop right under the bridge over here. This is a very high speed part of the track, very dangerous part, but there's not much he could have done. And let's just take a listen to what he tells the marshal as he approaches. He turned my car off. He turns my car off, reaches over and turns my get engine off. So the incident was well noted by the marshal. And let me know in the comment section down below guys, what do you think of this tactic? Is it taking things too far? Is it unsporting? Remember, this was an SWS sprint race, so is there regulation saying you can't turn off your competitor's engine? Leave your feedback in the comment section down below and I'd love to hear your opinions on this incident. 